What's up guys, Justin here with TheRealTimeEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to use particles in order to create smoke in Unity. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first thing we wanna do is we wanna create a new particle system. So we're just gonna right click over here. We're gonna go down to effects and we're gonna add a particle system. And we're gonna go ahead and align this object with our view so that it's in our view. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move it back over just a little bit like this, move it down, and we're good to go. So now we've got the particle system in our scene. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is we wanna select this particle system and notice how now it's still white like when we created the snow. Well, for the moment, what we wanna do is we wanna take this and change it to more of a gray color. So um, kind of like smoke would look, right? So we can just go into our particle system settings by selecting our particle system. We're just gonna to go to our start color. And we're just gonna make this kind of a darker grayish material. So something like this, um, I'm not gonna get too in depth on it for right now, just something where it's a little bit closer. And so then now this is emitting these little pieces right here. Well, we wanna go ahead and we wanna make this a little bit bigger, right? Because these are too small. They look like little like ash little pieces of ash or something like that. And so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the start size and we're gonna bump it up a little bit. So, and you can bump it up as much as you want, but if you get too big, then it starts looking a little bit weird, right? So we're gonna bring this down, maybe call this like two and a half for right now. Um, that's kind of a good place to start. And so one thing I'm noticing about this is you still have like this white color in the middle. And so we can kind of adjust that by adjusting our color so that we've got kind of a grayish brownish or something like that. So if you drag this from the white side to the colored side right here, notice how the inside of those is going to be more that color that you select rather than kind of the white on the inside. So you can use this in order to adjust that. And again, we may come in here and play around at the start size a little bit more. So just to kind of get a look that we're going for. All right, so now we've got our colors kind of where we want them to be, but we're gonna go ahead and drop this speed down because those are really going too fast, right? Like the faster these go, the faster they move. We want them to move a little bit slower. So I'm gonna bring this start, start speed yeah, the start speed down a little bit. So maybe we'll go to like a 1.5 or something like that. All right, so I've kind of messed with these settings a little bit more. I've kind of brought my start speed down even more. Um, and again, just kind of play around with this to get the results that you're looking for. But now let's jump into the emission setting. Let's add more objects. So notice how the more of these that I add in here, um, the more smoke that I'm gonna get in my scene. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump these up to like, we'll call it 20 for right now. And so you've got this system in here right now and we've adjusted the rate over the time, but we can also adjust the shape in which this is being emitted. So right now, for example, notice how this is kind of emitting these in kind of a weird direction. So I'm gonna go back and reset my rotation. So I'm gonna set my rotation back to zero, 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 and then just kind of like play around with that a little bit as well. So for example, I probably want this to face up rather than kind of diagonally like it was facing. So I'm just going to adjust this so that this is maybe at like negative 90 degrees or something like that. So we're just gonna get this close so that it's emitting everything in kind of that upward direction like this. And then we're also going to adjust the size. So the size and angle of the cone is going to affect the angle at which your smoke is generated. So if I turn this cone in like this, notice how it's gonna be more straight up and down. If I move it out, it's going to move the smoke more outward, right? So you can adjust this cone to however you want. In my case, I'm gonna make this more of like a straight up and down situation right here. You could also adjust the radius of the object in here. So if you wanted this to be larger or smaller, notice how you can use this in order to spread your smoke out or more like heavily concentrate it like this. And I more like it like this, um, where this radius is a little bit smaller. But again, those settings are going to kind of allow you to control what your smoke does inside of your particle system. All right, so in general, this is looking pretty good, but um, it does look a little bit, if you look down here, like you've got basically a scene that is emitting particles. And so what we wanna do is we wanna use an image file in order to make this look more realistic. And so there's a ton of different places you can go to get smoke images. So if you just go on Google, for example, and you just Google smoke sprite, um, what you're gonna find is you're gonna find a bunch of these like different sprite sheets that are in here that are just basically, or collections of um, 2D images that look like smoke. In this case, I just clicked on this one from Smoke Aura from OpenGameArt.com. 
So um, that takes me to a page where I was able to download that. You can, however, go wherever you want and download whatever material that you want. But in this case, we've got this kind of like smoke material that we've brought down. So this particular download gives you a bunch of different smoke options. We're just gonna include one for what we're doing right here. So basically what I've done is I've dragged that smoke material in here and let's go ahead and do it with 001. So I'm just gonna drag that material into my materials folder, well then, I need to create a material. And so what we need to do is inside of our uh, renderer, there's an option in here for material and we're gonna apply this to that box. However, we can't just drag the image file in there. Notice how that doesn't work. So what we need to do instead is we just need to create a new material. So we're just gonna make material right here and I'm just gonna call this smoke sprite right here. So that's my new material. And I just wanna come in here and I just wanna under my shader, I just wanna to go to the Sprite Lit Default option right here. That's going to allow me to drag my 001 image into my texture right here. So now that's created this kind of like Sprite material, like, right, like a 2D material that we have in here. Well now I can take that material and drag it into my particle system. So I'm gonna go find my particle system right here and I wanna drag my Smoke Sprite into my default particle right here. Well, notice how as soon as I do that, what that's doing is that's repeating that sprite over and over in here. So it's basically, instead of doing the like circular particles that we had before, now you've got this like sprite in here that's being repeated. And so now our smoke looks a lot more realistic. So there's a couple other things that you could do in here. Like for example, you can set the size over lifetime function. So if I was to check the box for size over lifetime, notice how the smoke material is now getting smaller as we go over time. And you can just select this and you can use different curves in order to do different things, right? So the steeper this is, um, the smaller these are going to get over the lifetime. So in this case, I found that kind of adjusting this up a little bit on the backside is a little bit better for me because it doesn't make these like super small on the top end. So you could also adjust like the color over the lifetime if you wanted to do that. So you could set this to have like a darker color in the beginning and a lighter color in the end or a more transparent color in the end as well. So that's another function that you could use. You could also add some noise in here if you wanted this to move around a little bit more. So obviously this is too much, but if we were to turn our strength way down, right? So let's turn our strength down to like 0.25 or something like that. That's gonna add just a little bit of noise in here. Well, notice how when we add a little bit of noise in here, that's just going to make our smoke kind of move around a little bit. So again, that's just something that you can kind of play around with when creating that smoke inside of Unity. So if you don't like the color in here, for example, you can go back up to your initial color and adjust that as well. So if you wanted like a lighter smoke material, you could create more of a light smoke material. You can really do whatever you want once you get those image files in here. But notice how that's going to get us a pretty realistic smoke material without having to do a whole lot of extra work inside of Unity. All right, so in the future, we're also going to talk about how to create fire using particles, but leave a comment below. Let me know what kind of particle system tutorials you'd like to see for Unity. I will link to some other particle tutorials on this page. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.